<laughs> so growing up in Kansas City, I, I, as soon as I realized there was stuff outside of Kansas City, I wanted nothing more than to get out of Kansas City. And thankfully, at the age of 12, my dad bought me this, uh, this Fender Stratocaster. It's black. Rosewood Pickguard. And that was my ticket to like go see places all over the Midwest. I got to play shows in St. Louis and in Omaha, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, Tulsa. Woo. Even got to Little Rock a few times. Woo. Played a little place called. Well, can I say the place? We're not there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm brand loyal to here. Right. Juanitas. Juanitas. It's all I, good. I looked it up. <laughs> I looked it up on Yelp and it said, permanently closed. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Fair enough. I am at the hall. And eventually I got to leave Kansas City. I, I, I packed up a, a 96 Jeep Cherokee with all the things my folks let me have. I joined a band down in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I moved into this guy's dining room. I was so broke I couldn't afford the rent. <laughs> and then I get a call from my brother one day, and he's like, hey, I'm going to audition for this TV show. Would you like to come and be moral support? I said, yeah, sure. Free vacation. Right. So I went with him to Omaha, Nebraska, and got talked into auditioning while we were in line. I sang a song called uh, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. Woo! Don't get too excited. We're not doing it tonight. Aww. And the next thing I know, I'm going to Los Angeles and living in a hotel for four and a half months and singing on national television. And uh, had no idea what I was doing. If I'm being honest, I still don't. So I lived in Los Angeles for five years, and then I moved to Nashville. Met a girl, moved to Nashville, got married. As far as I know, she'll be there when I get home. But that whole time, you know, from the moment I left Kansas City, chasing this idea of, of home. I missed home. I missed that security. I missed the safety to fall flat on my ass. Like now there was real consequence. And uh, so then the pandemic happens and I'm, I'm stuck at home like everybody else. I can't go play shows. I'm, I'm actually doing shows on the internet in my pajamas which is as cool as it sounds. Just... Very cool. And I started kind of really mulling that idea of home and what it meant. What did it mean to me? And it got me thinking about all these seemingly innocuous moments back home in Kansas City that in my adult life I had, I had romanticized. Like, first time I snuck a beer. First time I saw another band play that I like a local band that I used to love, this band called Sound of the Fury. So I decided to write a song about those moments. And I put it on the CP called The Looking Glass that I put out in uh, 2021, I think. The song's called Make a Move. And then the clouds part, and we get to go back out on the road and play shows again in rooms just like this for people just like you. This, this level of appreciation had shifted, like, all of a sudden, this thing that I love to do had been kind of taken from me, taken from everybody, really. But now I got to do it again, and man, I was so damn thankful. To get to walk on a stage, hang out with these jerks, and make noise for a living. And in that, the, de the definition of home sort of shifted for me. 
And if, I, I, now my current definition is home is where you can be your most comfortable and your most vulnerable at the same time. And for me, that's right here. It's on stage, which is probably something I should delve into with a therapist, but... <laughs> I am so immensely thankful to be here with you guys tonight. So thank you for letting me be home. Thank you for being home with me. That's the last little bit of the story. This is Make a Move. <laughs>